Hello everyone. We are just having lunch together, Colleen and Kelly and myself. Just uh, we wanted to connect, um, and we had just been to a virtual Chorus America conference, and so we were just talking about some of the things that we really, really enjoyed about the conference, and just enjoying some lunch here out at Walnut Acres Farm, some wine, and uh, it's been a, it's, it's hard to not be able to connect like this, and you can see that we're social distancing properly, so um, we, we just want to share with you the fact that we do miss you, and uh, we're looking forward to that. I mean, it's going to be amazing when we all come together again the next time. Um, but we thought we might share some things that we learned at the virtual conference and um, some of the inspiring moments uh, that we've had. It was pretty cool. It was really good. The nice thing was to connect with other people who do what we do. Yeah. And they totally get and understand where we're at right now. That being home and being on a Zoom meeting together is just not what we're used to. It's not how we feel best with each other. Um, but it also reminded us that we are a community in music together. We are of one mind when we're all together and when we're performing. And when our audience, when you're there, that's some of the best times when we're all together. So. We're doing everything that we can right now, and we're trying to figure out all the technology, <laughs> all the things that we've never had to worry about before. Before right. it was just lighting and places and seats, and now it's I know digital I, and buttons and yeah. We were we were not brought up in this technical age, and and for me, you know, I was trained to work with live choirs and to sing simultaneously, so it's been um, rather daunting to um, figure it out, but the greatest thing about the, the conference last week was it, it allowed us to see that everyone is in the same boat. There's no right time to do anything. Everybody's figuring it out as they go along. And we had colleagues that we were able to talk to and inter interact with that, um, and we we're all thinking the same thing. We want to connect, we want to engage with our singers, with our supporters, our audience, our donors. Um, and it's difficult when we can't be in a live situation. So, yeah, amazing. And I'm hoping that we can get the youth chorale involved again, because as you know, we've done a number of programs together with the SBC singers, and I know the kids really enjoy that. And I enjoy working with them, so I'm hoping that that will be possible once again. Absolutely. Because we had planned for our 50th anniversary to uh, have the children involved in the um, candlelight program in December, uh, and then again in the Carmina Burana performance um, at, the at the Albright Center. So, um, yeah, we, we just want things to to evolve and, and continue. Um, we do have, we, we are on the verge of, of knowing where we're going to be getting technical assistance in order to do some virtual things. I don't want to do a virtual performance just because everybody else is doing it. Um, that, that doesn't do anything for me and I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't for anybody else, especially the singers. We've seen a lot of virtual performances. Some of them are amazing and cost thousands of dollars to do. We're not able to do that, but we, but I think that we're, we have found some um, technical help that is going to allow us to do some really creative work um, over the next few months with, with our singers. And, and I'm looking forward to that and sharing those things with you. And I think they make it the people that we've reached out to make it look so easy. I know. They make it look so accessible to do, and it's going to be so exciting to be able to share that with everybody, and I think for the singers. 
-hmm. you know, you you might think first looking at something and recording yourself singing and you think, well, I don't really know if that's for me. But then when you see yourself in a finished product with everyone and you're really just singing eye to eye with everyone who's watching you and knowing how much they need that, I think that you're, the singers will definitely love this. They'll love being able to do this. Yeah. Colleen and I both watched um, one of the sessions that we went to was the King Singers. Do you want to say anything about it? I mean, it was just so inspiring. Uh, it, it definitely was. It, it gave me a lot of inspiration to think what is possible for us to do and to kind of lift ourselves out of the depression, if, if you want to Absolutely. use that word, yeah. that we've all experienced for the last few months. Uh, we just need to do those kind of things. To connect and yes. engage. And, and of course, it's, the King Singers is only six men, and, and they, so their virtual performances were done very simply. And it was, it was good for me to see that because I worried about, you know, what are we going to, are we ever going to be able to compare to these others? But I'm done with that. I'm, we're not doing it because other people did it, and we're not doing it to try to match somebody else. We're just doing it because it's coming from here and it's meaningful. And that's what we got from listening to the King Singers and seeing they were all in their homes in various parts of the UK um, and they were, they were connected. And it was beautiful. So, yeah. and that's that's what we would hope to. Yeah. yeah. So we look forward to um, to more times talking with you from a distance, and hopefully doing some performing together. Um, I, Chorus Connection, and uh, there's a new another new app that is available for conductors to be able to do some rehearsing. Um, and some warm-ups and that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to learning about those and making those things happen. Yep. So, so, so that you all know and remember, we're here doing everything we can to still connect with you. Absolutely. We have not been still at all. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking a We've lot. We've been busy. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good thing. Thank you all for your support and for believing in the Susquehanna Valley Chorale. It's just an amazing uh, ensemble and group of people. And the thing about singing is it's just so human. It's just, we use our, our voices to make music and, um, and the texts that we sing are so meaningful. So all of that together, uh, we look forward to doing simultaneously again but in the meantime we're going to do other things great to see you all bye bye, bye, -bye.